Hackney Council and the Genesis Foundation are commissioning a public artwork to honour the local contributions of the Windrush generation in the borough. And this public artwork will be installed front and centre in Hackney Town Hall Square in 2021 and it will remain there permanently. Our organisation, we were based in Hackney for many years and we, we've worked with artists and with communities in Hackney, Hackney for a long time and we continue to. Our interest is in how art can move beyond galleries and affect the lives of people that live in parts of East London. We're pleased to be liaising between artists and, and the council in that sense. We're helping gather proposals, helping to kind of share that with the, the wider community here in Hackney and lead the panel and people here towards a decision uh, early in 2020. The proposals include the maritime scheme with floor plaques set into the paving stones in the Town Hall Square, created by artists Hugh Locke and Indra Khanna. And those plaques depict the Empire Windrush ship, so we will have a five metre long ship made out of bronze that will be set alongside other ships to symbolise the many journeys people have taken to reach the harbour here in Hackney. A set of three figurative sculptures by Thomas J. Price depicting human people with connections to the Windrush generation and the idea of um, identity defined by immigration. The artists will use photo archives and also computer models 3D scans of Hackney residents to create these Amagam 3D bronze sculptures. The artist Veronica Ryan is proposing large-scale Caribbean fruit sculptures made from bronze and marble. And those large sculptures um, placed across the Town Hall Square are a symbol of both Caribbean and global migration. And many of those fruits from the West Indies can also be found in other countries. And also, of course, at Hackney's Ridley Road Market. We are inviting the local community to have their say and provide feedback on their proposals. These can be comments on why they like or dislike the artwork and the feelings that the artworks provoke and evoke in them. What I like about this is very encouraging that really local authorities need to consult the community before they do anything and this is just a very good example. Regarding Windrush, that showed me how many jobs there were in, that, in England that time. It represents all of the jobs the people from the Caribbean came to help us with. So I think it'd be great if it was outside so people can really learn what hardships they had to go through. When we came here, we, sort, we totally changed the way that Europeans represented themselves. So anything at all that, 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 that kind of reflects that I'm up for it, and you know, whatever piece that's chosen, I'll be equally happy. Number two is my favourite because I think it could really transform the town hall. I think it can kind of turn it into this uh, cultural hub, like more of a cultural hub, because we know Hackney is cultural, we know Hackney is diverse. Having that statement in the town hall square would be a really bold way to say, like, we are proud of our community, we are proud of our culture that exists in this borough. Fruits have done a lot to help those who have already lost hope, made them give them hope back and even um, beat their diseases, beat the diseases in their body. So that is one of the things that attracted me to Veronica's idea, Veronica Ryan's idea. You can see the proposals in Hackney Central Library and leave your feedback in the box. You can also go online and visit our website hackney.gov.uk slash windrush dash artwalk for more information.